Here's a, an early June update on our vegetable garden, our untended sort of wild vegetable garden. Um, a couple weeks ago, I started a couple new plots here with uh, some Brussels sprouts, which you see there off to the left of this image, as well as uh, some beans, pole beans here and bush beans in that square. Um, and uh, they haven't yet uh, germinated, but hopefully by the time I uh, check in again, we'll have some small uh, bean plants. The Brussels sprouts seem to be doing okay. Our potatoes are doing well. As you can see, I mounded up uh, some dirt around the base of them uh, a couple weeks ago. It's almost time to start mounting some more dirt up, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer, let them grow a little taller. The uh, Swiss chard is doing pretty well. In fact, I think I'm going to harvest some of this today. Uh, beautiful Swiss chard. And our kale has matured. This is uh, no longer baby kale. Um, there may be some younger leaves down inside, but this is going to need to be cooked, um, which is fine. We'll make some uh, stir fry and other uh, other good dishes with that uh, kale. The squash plants are coming in. These over here at the left end are a little bit uh, older than the ones at the right end, but looks like we're going to have a variety of squash ranging from crookneck to just straight yellow squash and zucchini as well as some, uh, I guess what I call flying saucer squash. Sasha's over here and here are uh, onions. See the onions actually have sprouted and they're about to flower. The little uh, garlic shaped uh, buds at the top. We got uh, some milkweed growing in our onion patch. And there amongst uh, those flowers, which are collard green flowers, we got some uh, black raspberry, as well as uh, some blackberry. And at the bases of the flowers, you'll see actually the collard green leaves, some of which I'll harvest in just a few minutes. So um, the only other things to mention is just uh, some crops that have not done as well. We got the spinach over here, and I'm sorry, spinach over here. And um, it seems to have gone pretty quickly to seed. Uh, there are some leaves there, which I may harvest today, and then uh, we have over here uh, some beets. They tend to be uh, a real treat for the deer, and I don't know if they got them or I just had some old seed, but you can see just a handful of beets that haven't really developed a significant root yet. Um, I pulled uh, the radishes that I planted earlier. They had already flowered, and I wanted to see how big the radishes got at the bottom, and they just didn't get very big, so I think the radishes were a dud this year. Um, going to have to get some fresh seed. Um, probably next year. Um, I didn't want these to go to seed because I didn't want radishes growing all over my wild garden here. Um, we got carrots mixed in with the clover here and I'm just uh, gonna let it be and see how big the carrots get. Sometimes we get lucky and get some good carrots despite the uh, heavy cover. Um, this, the asparagus has gotten a little pass here. Now these are the asparagus ferns that uh, grow out of the asparagus flowers when you don't um, pick them. And so now uh, these plants, these crowns down in the soil, are getting um, a little bit of extra energy this year uh, through the ferns. Um, at the end of the season I'll cut down the ferns and we'll get ready for next year's asparagus harvest. You can see over here we have uh, at least one asparagus left here that hasn't actually um, fully uh, blossomed. And I imagine there's a few in there. I'll take a look a little bit later on, but mostly bloomed asparagus. So that's the update for the garden this week. Sasha and I are enjoying a humid and somewhat rainy day, but it's great to be up here enjoying the birds and the wind, the fresh air. I just wanted to show how I uh, harvested from the Swiss chard and the kale without really pulling the plants out. And I'm leaving enough growth to sustain the plant and hopefully encourage it to grow some more. Uh, but I got some pretty good Swiss chard leaves and some kale that includes some baby kale but also mature leaves. And over here I just had uh, had some slim pickings on the spinach but enough to make a little salad. And, um, you can see the, uh, the spinach flowers. It's very pretty. 
and they'll go to seed and hopefully I'll, they'll just receive the same area. I'm not worried about spinach taking over my garden. It doesn't seem to be that aggressive. And then you see the onions there with my milkweed. The onions I think are gonna take a, a couple more months to really fully mature but I wonder if I can plant these uh, seeds for next year that are going to come out of these uh, onion flowers. And then I'm going to pick some of these collard greens in just a minute. Here's our bounty for the day. We got just a little bit of uh, rhubarb, spinach, collard greens, three bags of kale, and then some Swiss chard. 